Good morning boys and girls. Look who came to visit us this morning. Chili. Good morning Chili. Good morning Wendy. Good morning boys and girls. I heard that you just didn't come to visit us, but you have a question to ask children about something that really worries you. Yes, boys and girls, I told Jesus that I am sorry for all the things that I think, say and do that makes him sad. I asked him please forgive me. And I wanted to follow Jesus and I love reading the Bible. But does Jesus really listen to my prayers? Does he really care? That is a very good question, Chili. But I think we must ask Uncle Ronald to tell us about the most wonderful and glorious three hours in the history of the world. Wow! That sounds exciting! Good morning, boys and girls. Yes, the three most glorious and wonderful hours in the history of the world was nine o'clock in the morning, twelve o'clock at noon, and three o'clock in the afternoon. Now, at nine o'clock in the morning, just over two thousand years ago, Jesus was crucified on a cross. As it is written in the Bible, the Word of God, in Mark 15, verse 25, it says, It was nine in the morning when they crucified Him, that is Jesus. And you're thinking, Uncle Ronald, why did Jesus go through all that pain? The nails that was hit through his hands and, and his feet and the, the beating that he got just before he was crucified. Why did he go through that pain? And also the pain of people laughing at him, making jokes about him. Do you like being laughed at, being made a joke of? Of course not. But Jesus went through all that pain. Because the Bible says it is written that sin must be punished. And sin is, say with Uncle Ronald, everything that we think, say and do that makes God very sad, that displeases Him. So sin must be punished. And, but Jesus said, I love them so much. I care about them so much. I will take their punishment. I will take their pain. So he was crucified at nine o'clock in the morning just over 2,000 years ago. But at 12 o'clock something mysteriously happened because there came a darkness over the whole land, over Israel. And it showed that that God the Father was punishing now Jesus also for the sin of the world, for the sin of you and me, for all those things that we think, say and do wrong. And at three o'clock in the afternoon, after three hours, after six hours of punishment, Jesus calls out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I am feeling lonely here as I hung here on the cross. Why have you turned your face away from me? It's because it was of our sin, Uncle Ronald's sin and your sin, that Jesus hung there on the cross. That his father turned his face away from him. But then, just after that, Jesus also said, It is finished. The work that I came to do, this special work that I had to come and do here on this earth, it is finished. I'm, I finished my work. I took the punishment for their sins, for my children's sins. So, boys and girls, if you know Jesus Christ, if you know that you are a child of God and you think of, of what Jesus has done for you, what he, he went through 
so that you can become a child of God if you believe in Jesus. If you believe in Him and think of what He has done, then know for certain, when you speak to Jesus, when you pray to Jesus, He will hear your prayers and He will do what is best for you. Amen. So you do understand, Chili, that Jesus wants to hear your voice, your prayers. Yes, yes, Wendy. I do understand if it cost Jesus so much and he loves me so much, then surely he will hear my prayers and surely he will take care of me. Shirley, you really do understand. <laughs>